Good morning, everyone. Happy Patch Notes Day. It's Sway Bay, and we are going to be talking specifically today about Standard, Battlegrounds, and Mercenary, since these are the game modes that I personally focus on. If you play Duels or Arena, there have been updates there as well. Actually, like so many updates, so I highly recommend going to read the patch notes for those. Now, in terms of Standard, we did see that there is going to be a mini set called the Dead Mines. Now, this is featuring some pirate synergies as well as some new tradable cards. This is going to be 35 unique cards, four legendary, one epic, 14 rare and 16 common cards involved here. You can get the entire mini set for $15 or 2,000 gold. I love that there's still the option to purchase the mini set for gold so that you don't need to spend real life money. And if you are a free to play player, you can get this entire mini set without having to dig through packs. The card reveals will be over the weekend with a culminating post on November 1st where we can start theory crafting and preparing for the mini set. Now, in terms of mercenaries, we are getting the first update for mercenaries. There's going to be some new mercenaries, some new bounties, and a brand new synergy added to the mercenaries. It appears that there is going to be a pirate synergy coming that you can add to your mercs teams. The first new mercenary is Edwin, a legendary fighter. He is a pirate. He's 1380 maxed stats. Now let's talk about his abilities really quickly. All of these abilities are the maxed out abilities. Assassin's Blade. Attack an enemy. If it hasn't attacked yet this turn, gain plus five health and attack again. Assisted strike is also speed five. Cooldown one. Gain plus five attack for each friendly pirate and attack a random enemy. There's a combo here. Gain immune while attacking this turn. King's pin bounty. Speed four, cooldown two. Deal 10 damage to an enemy. Repeat for each other pirate you control. There's that pirate's energy there. Death blow is restore 25 health. Now in terms of equipment, black flag is passive. Adjacent pirates abilities are four speeds faster. That is phenomenal. Round of drinks, assisted strike is three speeds faster and always has immune while attacking. Even shares, King's Bounty restores 10 more health and affects all friendly characters. We're seeing a lot of possibilities coming from Edwin here. Not only pirate synergy, but just a really powerful mercenary. The next mercenary is Sneed, an epic protector. Sneed is a pirate with max stats at 777. The abilities are bzzz, <laughs> speed six, deal damage equal to your attack. If activate saw is active, also damage targets neighbor. Now activate Saw is the next ability. Speed 3, cooldown 1. Gain plus 6 attack for 2 turns. Attack a random enemy. Disarm. Speed 3, cooldown 1. Attack an enemy. Give it minus 5 attack permanently. Useful. That's so useful. As for Sneed's equipment, Skull Dust zzz, gains bleed 5. Titanium Blades. Activate Saw gives plus 4 attack and lasts 1 more turn. Extra Blades. Sneed starts with Activate Saw active for 1 turn. Starting with that Activate Saw could be super useful. Next is Eudora, an epic fighter, also a pirate. 1078 for stats here. Now for abilities. Coup d'etat. Speed 4. Attack an enemy. If it's the left or right most enemy, fire Eudora's cannons at it. So kind of an outcast ability here. Prepare the cannons. Speed 7. Cooldown 1. Summon a cannon to the left or right of this mark. Covering fire. Speed 7. Cooldown 1. Restore 12 health to a friendly mark and return them to your bench. Fire all your cannons. Equipment is the shrapnel shot. Cannon deals 5 more damage. Primed armaments. Battle cry is summon a cannon and then briny bracers passive plus two plus ten mr smite is the next one a rare protector also a pirate not surprised a 70 75 full maxed out here. Abilities are Smite Slam, Speed 8, Gain plus 5 attack for each enemy with 40 or less health, and attack an enemy. Avast, ye matey. Speed 5, Gain Taunt this turn. After an enemy attacks this merc, Gain plus 5 attack. Overboard, Speed 3, Cooldown 1. After another friendly enemy is damaged this turn, Gain plus 10 health and attack a random enemy. As for equipment, Sailor's Cap, Mr. Smite gets an additional plus 4 attack from Smite Slam. Heavy Anchor, Overboard grants plus 6 attack if the damaged friend is a pirate, sharpened scabbard. Whenever another friendly pirate attacks, gain plus four attack. We are seeing Cookie the Cook as the last one, a rare caster. This is not a pirate, this is a murloc. Max stats are 670, and abilities are Fish Feast, which is a nature spell. Speed two deals 10 damage to an enemy, so we're seeing some nature synergy there. There is a death blow, give plus 15 health to all friendly characters. For another nature, you know, all of these abilities are actually 
actually nature spells. Cookies, cooking. Speed five, cooldown one. Bleed five tall enemies. Restore five health to all friendly murlocs and pirates. This could be a tie-in with murloc and pirate synergy. We can make a murloc pirate team. Go fish, nature spell. Speed four, cooldown one. Summon a random fish for your opponent with a death rattle that benefits you. As for cookies equipment, seasoned pan. Fish feast gives a plus five attack as well. Iron ladle. Cookies cooking restores an additional five health. Appetizers. Start of game, give all friendly characters plus nine health. There are also three new bounties to claim in the Black Rock Zone if you are playing PvE and focused on gathering all of those bounties. Important to note that the new mercenary cards, portraits, and coins are going to be gained the same way as everything else has been through mercenaries. So any way that you've been winning bounties, gaining experience, getting packs, etc., you're going to be able to find these new mercenaries in the exact same fashion. Blizzard also makes note that every future mercenary will be able to be found the same way. Now, moving on to Battlegrounds. We do see three brand new heroes, one of them for a limited time. The first one is a limited time event only. This is Diablo. Every four turns, everyone else in the lobby will have to face your entire warband and the Lord of Terror himself. If they win, they get treasure. However, if you win, you get treasure. So for every opponent that your warband and Lord of Terror is able to take down, you get a treasure there. This sounds like it could pay off really well. The other two new heroes are not part of the limited time event. The first is Sneed. Now, we all remember Sneed's replicator on tier five, the mech. Sneed, hero power, Sneed's replicator. It costs one. You can give a minion a death rattle of summoning another minion from the same tavern tier. This could be pretty useful early game in kind of avoiding taking damage. Maybe you are able to level a little bit quicker because technically you do have an extra minion. However, sometimes like you can be on tier five with a razor gore and you put Sneed's replicator on it and it'll summon like a bran and won't really help you with attack or anything. Maybe might kill off that last little bit of your opponent's board. Could be okay. Interesting synergy with Baron. I'm kind of excited to see this. The other new Battlegrounds hero is Cookie the Cook. Cookie the Cook stirs the pot. The cost is zero. For the hero power, you throw a minion into the pot. After you've collected three minions, you are able to discover from all of the minion types. This could be helpful in finding something that you're not super interested in, like, oh, this Murloc is a 2-3 and I don't really care about it, but I'll be on tier 5, I could find a Sefin. There's some options there with Cookie. Worst case, it's an extra minion, 3 gold. Important to note that since Diablo is a limited time event, Diablo will be available to all players, Battlegrounds perks or not. Now, the other two heroes will only be available to players with Battlegrounds perks, until the formal release November 16th. In the bug fixes section of the patch notes, they did make a note that they fixed the uneven distribution of new heroes to Battlegrounds perks. So in any lobby where there are Battlegrounds perks present, one of the new heroes will be offered. That's it for standard Battlegrounds and Mercenaries for now. We're excited to see these changes coming November 2nd, this coming Tuesday. Let's get stoked for the mini set. I know a lot of people have been waiting for it in terms of mercenaries, finding these new mercenaries. I'm actually really excited to build some Murloc pirates. If you've made it this far in the video, I would love to give you the opportunity to win a mercenaries bundle. All you need to do is comment and make sure you're subscribed. And I will be picking a winner for a Lich King mercenaries bundle from the comments on November 2nd. Good luck.